Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase how to use the e-transmit feature within Revit for those of you who aren't even aware that there is one. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017 and most people who need to transport their Revit model and all of the associated data will either just package all of them up into a zip file and do a hunt and peck search using Windows Explorer <coughs> and then send it off that way. Uh, however, in Revit, there is an e-transmit feature just like you have in AutoCAD. Now, to use this command, um, you need to not be in a current Revit project. So let's say, for example, I'm in a current Revit project like this one. If I head over to the add-ins tab, you'll have e-transmit panel and you'll have e-transmit command called transmit a model. And if you try to run that command, it'll tell you you have to close that Revit file. So I'm going to close the file, go back to add-ins tab, and you'll notice that the ribbon does expand and show even though you're not in, a, uh, in an actual Revit file. Go to the e-transmit command again, and now it's going to open up a dialog box for you to input some data first thing it's going to ask you is to select the Revit model you want to transmit. <clears throat> we'll click Browse and we'll head over to a particular Revit file. We'll hit Open and now it knows that it wants to take this file. Where do you need to save the file, the model to, for transmitting purposes? You can click Browse Folder and again choose a location. <clears throat> you can include the transmittal and error reports if there are any and then because you're using e-transmit you have the ability to tell it to grab the associated linked Revit models as well because just like AutoCAD and X-referencing when you do e-transmit it'll ask you to select the X-refs as well. CAD links because some people are using CAD files that have been linked into the Revit model so those are checked by default and also DWF for those who are doing DWF markups. If you are using a special custom keynote file, text file, for all of your keynoting, you'll want to put a check mark here. For those who have decals uh, within their Revit model, um, then you need to make sure that this is checked. And then you can click Add Files if you need to to add any additional files that are not within this list that's available. All you have to do is hit plus and then pick the files that you want. Say, for example, I pick this image file. So it knows to include that file as well. If your Revit model uh, is not the latest release, so right now I'm in Autodesk Revit 2017, and the eTransmit knows this, so it says if you have any files that are prior to 2017, you can clean them up as well. This will take a little bit longer, but it makes a lot of sense to do so. But make sure that um, you've made a backup of your Revit files prior to doing this. You can disable work sets. You can purge any unused objects, <coughs> families. And then uh, for including the sheets, um, it's going to ask you if you want to include the sheets and all the views or only the views that are on the sheet or only views on sheets and selected view types not on sheets. You can also click remove all sheets but include certain views, so kind of like the reverse thinking. Lastly, uh, these settings that you've adjusted, you can actually save these and it's saved by default with this check mark. We'll hit transmit model and it goes through the process of grabbing that file, any other linked Revit files, any other linked CAD files, decal files, uh, keynote text files, and any of the other additional files that you told it to pull. It then grabs the files and it makes a temporary copy in that location you told it to, ctemp, and it purges the information um, like you requested it. When it's finished, it'll say it's done. We can click OK or Open Folder. I'm going to click Open Folder. <clears throat> and you'll notice here, it says under the temp folder, there is a folder for that particular transmittal purpose. And in here it has 
the CD Revit file that we talked about, the transmittal report. It has the image file I told it and the keynote text file. And so all of that has now been basically pooled together to a single location. And if I need to, I can select all of them and add them to a zip file, compress zip file. And then you can send that off. Now, this file is 50 megs, so most email applications can only hit 25 as a cap. So be aware of that, and you may have to use Box, Dropbox, Buzzsaw, or any other kind of cloud-based, or even your A360 drive um, online storage location. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.